Now there is another mechanism that you could use for leader election, and that is by way of a cue message. In fact, if you were walking through this scenario, if you compare it to the discussion on cues in this course, you'll see there's a lot of overlap in terms of the, uh, you know, the, the mechanism and how things work. And in fact, we can use a cue message in order to do leader election. So in, in this scenario, let's say we have 10 instances of our service running, and they're constantly going to a queue and saying, do I have work to do, do I have work to do? And the queue is completely empty, so the queue is returning no, 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 there's no work to be done. Then some external force can go and insert a message into the queue at a certain time. And basically that message could say, I need the billing report produced now. So you put one message in the queue, the 10 instances are now gonna race to the queue to grab that, the queue will give that message to one and only one of those instances, and that instance is effectively the elected leader now. So that instance, in fact, we go through the code, right? So all instances are in an infinite loop while true. They're all trying to dequeue a message from the queue. Most of the time, the message comes back with null because there's there is no message in the queue. So in that case, we just delay so that we don't do a denial service attack against the queue itself and then loop back around. But eventually, some instance will go and get the queue message. That instance is now the leader. It's supposed to do the billing report or whatever the work is that needs to be done. It goes and now processes that message, which means does the billing. Of course, it may crash in here. If it crashes, then the queue message will become visible again. And then the other instances are looping around trying to grab the message. So now another leader will be elected and it will go and produce that report. Eventually, the report will get done in its entirety, and then we go back to the queue and delete the message. So now the message won't be delivered to any other uh, service instance, and there's no need to pick another leader election until maybe tomorrow or next week when this external force goes and inserts a message into the queue to have the new billing report produced for the following week. All right, and that's, so this is another mechanism that can be used for doing a leader election by way of queue messages.